What's going on, guys? It's Michael and Adam from the GFGN.com. What's going on, guys? I'm very happy to be here today. Bringing you a infamous Festival of Blood Canopic Jars location, part one. And the ones you're going to see on this video, this is just part one out of the many that I'm going to be doing, are during the main mission, but there are a few in places where you may have not seen that you can easily get. The, so this isn't the first mission, but this is the first mission they pop up, and you can't avoid these ones. And so well, you're smashing jars around the city filled with blood. Yes, and what they'll do, they'll increase your blood capacity up there in the upper left if you can see the little heart beating all right this one's off to the right on the main path just after those two i just broke when you keep going down the alleyway and then you'll turn back around and keep following the trail of well i'm not gonna i don't know if it's really that big of a deal for spoilers but uh yeah this one i will show on the map and it's right there where you can see the little triangle of where I'm at still on the same mission this is once you get inside the catacomb oh no this is right before you go inside the catacombs and there's two right here in the fort I don't know if you played infamous 2 but if you remember where that what big things went down there big story element by the way I'd like to mention that this DLC is the standalone so you can get it without owning infamous 2 oh really I didn't know that uh, I might download it then yes and it's only ten dollars, but if you got PlayStation Plus, you can get it for eight or seven. But this is right when you get inside the catacombs. This is still on the main mission. Not hard to find these ones, but I will be doing ones of the open world area, finding them all. And right there, I take out a vampire. And boom, another one. So I'm just running through the catacombs, killing everything, what I can, doing all that. Good stuff and this right here is the last one in the catacomb it's right before you go up the ladder and you have to go up this ladder to get up to the next area and boom and that's it and i think sweet. i run around a little bit more sweet weapon by the way that cross thing looks bad as hell yeah you get to stake them it's pretty cool it's pretty uh gnarly you know yeah i dig bro i dig all right well uh thanks guys for watching and uh tune in for part two Enjoy the game.